Hello all, welcome to Robensive Training. It's a continued video for the course Advanced Network Exploitation Expert. Myself, Rikun Sindhwad, and I will be your instructor for this entire journey. I hold over five years of experience in cybersecurity. I'm a red teamer at work. I also do security researcher and hold multiple CVs. Couple of articles are published over Pentest magazine, OSCP, OSW, and OSCP certified from offensive security. The course Advanced Network Exploitation Expert helps you to build core knowledge against network security and penetration testing. It is designed for everyone with the basic understanding for the cybersecurity domain, like basic networking and the basic pen testing things. An example would be anyone with the knowledge of CEH. Post completion of the course, you will able to gain core concept understanding over various topics, perform internal or external penetration testing, perform extensive network assessment, find security misconfiguration within Active Directory environment, able to do privilege escalation over Windows and Linux machines, write automation scripts and many more to go. Please read the description before moving ahead with the course content. With the completion of module 3, uh, we are ready to start our fourth module that is web for share We are going to learn multiple vulnerabilities uh, that can be exploited and leads to RCE or remote code execution. Through the vulnerability, uh, you can compromise web server or I can say server where the web application is hosted on. And those vulnerabilities we will going to explore further and gets our hand dirty off. The vulnerability includes SQL injection to RCE where by just leveraging SQL injection and some SQL functions or the database function I can say, we will going to achieve a remote code execution through which we can get, have a shell kind of functionality or we can have a reverse shell, bind shell and whatnot. Next, LFI to RCE. The LFI or local file inclusion can also lead to remote code execution. Apart from that, there is something called RFI to RCE that will be also going to include here. There are pretty much ways that can be leveraged in order to get a full fledged remote code execution. However, it will be limited for now in the basic module. However, when we will going to move further with some advanced exploitation, during that time, we will going to explore the further for the sake. Here, the agenda of this entire section would be to get you a basic awareness along with some uh, expertise of the vulnerabilities, like understanding vulnerabilities from a car. The fourth one here is file upload to RC that will going to uh, utilize in order to get a full fledged remote code execution. You upload your a web shell or reverse shell. You try to execute that particular file. And once you execute that, you have the code execution or command execution. The next is command injection. Of course, it's a pretty much simple. Uh, you just inject your command and that's it. That's all. The next here is SSTI to RC, a server side template injection, and that can also cause a critical issue to a particular server. And we can leverage it in order to execute some operating system commands. So those all will gonna be combined in this particular section. So just stay tuned. And if you are not aware with any of the vulnerability, I would recommend to have a quick uh, go through or quick look uh, the basic understanding of why the SQL injection or why the LFI. However, whatever is required for the course, I'll try to include in this entire journey. So stay tuned and see you next time.